Good day. My name is Sir Jacob Calloway, servant to Her Majesty the Queen. Today I have been placed with the honor of telling you a very unique and exquisite tale. I will tell you about the first ever Princess Academy, as told in the book by Shannon Hale. It was the month of Prince Stephen's 18th year, and also the month the noble priest would decide which city the Prince's bride would come from. The priest soon made their decision and shocked everyone, myself included. The noble priest announced the future queen would come from Mount Eskel, home to an uneducated group of people that had little social etiquette. The importance of the people depended on the harvesting lender, a very desirable gem. To make sure her future daughter-in-law was as proper as possible before her royal inauguration, the queen decided to open an academy. Over the course of one year, the advisors worked to trim and clean up all possible candidates for the position of future queen. Prince Stephen then chose his bride from the young women. To leave the academy, the queen chose the royal cousin, strict and borderline cruel tutor, Tudor Alona. Throughout a year of being tested cruelly, the girls finished the academy. A meek girl named Mary earned the position as valedictorian of the class. During her studies, Mary found out Linda's true worth to our kingdom, and she used this knowledge of, for the good of her people. She also learned valuable lessons that dealt with the power of friendship and family. Mary discovered that there are many more important things in life besides royalty and prestigious lifestyles. Personally, I found the plot of Princess Academy to be extremely interesting in originality and secrecy. The life of Mary and her family is very easy for many people to connect to through their own personal experiences. I don't think the Ryan style Shannon Hale used complemented the idea of the story very well. I think the author could use better descriptions in more detail while describing her characters and physical appearance of the settings. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this story an 8. This book deserved the William Allen White nomination for 2008.